one owner car guy one owner car guy.com and what i've got here for you today is an absolutely just drop dead gorgeous 1984 mazda rx7 in the gsl se model Ooh, buddy this thing's got every option you could ever want it's a manual leather interior both roofs i believe it's a one owner check the ebay ad and i'm gonna do your complete walk around and review here um, I got a windy day kicking up and I'm gonna try and block the mic and all that good stuff and hope you can hear me and I'm gonna go around this thing I got a beautifully sunny day Southern California nice car that's my plates there I'm a Montana dealer I sure would like to drive this thing back to Montana it is zippy and it's only got a hundred thousand and change on it for miles um, it's in great shape you can call me anytime my name's Nathan it's 406 544 six nine one nine and first thing um well one owner car guy.com is my website first thing i'm going to do is just run over and jump down and show you underneath now the front of the underneath is very hard to see because you got that panel and such on there which on this one's very interesting how this panel is aluminum where a lot of cars or i don't know it's not aluminum it's tin or metal of some sort versus a lot of cars it's um plastic Kind of scraped up right here. Not a lot, just right along that spoiler. All the air dam scoop things look good. And this piece is all nice. Tow hooks on both sides. Clean. Um, you know, this here could be either, you can tape it off and put that bumper black, which is awesome stuff. And that's what I do to that. Um, I'm gonna show you on the inside here, underneath, excuse me factory undercoat and everything look at that all over it awesome great condition I think you can see all that um this one look at these mags man just beautiful I, I can't wait to show you under the hood this thing is just beautiful that's all yeah GSL SE and there's your other top in it and I'm gonna go over now show you little things and stuff. Only thing I had to do on this, I had a power steering uh, pump I had to get for it. Um, and I changed the power steering pump out. That was the worst, and they're not cheap for this car. Um, it's only a two year thing here with this 8485. I believe it's a Series 3. Um, don't quote me now because I'm not Mr. RX-7. I like them, and I did stay in a, oh God, I stayed in some kind of fifth wheel last night, but, I'm not sure. Series 3. We'll just kind of go with that for this video. Find out differently. Hey, let me know. Mention it because I don't know everything. Okay, dings and such. I hate to say that there ain't no dings and nothing. And I'm looking hard. A little scratch right there. And I'm looking hard. And I see some right here in the back. Look like somebody pinny them. Got my finger in front of there trying to block the mic. I'm sorry dirty hands and stuff from working on this stuff. Right in there, it looks like somebody painted him a couple times. Hope you can see that. And you might be able to see different than what's in my screen. Factory mud flaps and such. Cool stuff, man. Steel pop riveted on. <laughs> this thing seems to have been garaged. Um, I would bumper black these. I just hate to do anything to it because it's so original. Um, just looks great. Little scratch along the edge there. Little titties on the BFGs. I'd say they're 50 to 65% left. Look at that. Nice. This car's in great shape. A couple of little chips right there. See, oh, and that little scuff right on the corner. And something right there, just a little crease or something. And it's beautiful. Beeswax. I'm sure you'll find a little chip or something there. There's a tiny scratch right there. And right there, just so tiny, you probably can't see them. A couple right in there. there you just can't see it it's just almost as nice as it gets a little chippy ding 
Hope you can see that one. Yeah, same thing right along there. I'm looking hard, man. He touched that up. And little tiny scuff right there. So hard to see, but it is there. Um, seems like, you know what, the bumper, I had the bumper touched up and this door. Um, there might be a little ding right there. And this mirror had a little tiny ripple there. And that's why we redid this. And that's all the paint work I know of on the car. And like I say, don't tell you, you'd never know. But that's not how it works. Hope I didn't scare you there. I scared myself a little. Little gouge right there. Little mark right there. And the car is just beautiful. A couple scratches in there. And I think I'd bumper black the heck out of that. See, that's from tape. When my guy taped this off and left it too long and those fade they just do little tiny scratches a couple of them right there as you can see and that is that um, you know what right there a little tear which is beautiful this car drives awesome can't wait to do the test drive a little scratch right there too man this thing's got tow hooks everywhere it must be made for four by Black lenses look great. Okay, that's a close up. I wanna make sure the other two mud flaps are there. I'm 99.9% sure they are. Boom, boom, yep. Beautiful car. Oneownercarguy.com. I'm gonna show you this in the evening time also. And I'm gonna go up and show you the interior next. And we'll go for a test drive to where I can show you how it drives. I can't wait to do that. And that's the deal. Well, Oneownercarguy.com. Make sure and Check out my other videos, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff, share, share my videos. I really appreciate it. Um, and I got a free car contest. Free car? Yeah, I'm not yelling it like I usually do. I don't want to do that in the cul-de-sac here. Well, that's the car. 84 RX-7 GSLSE. Full service. The guy definitely maintained his car. Beautiful in here. Hot. Hot day. The radio is nice and loud. Look at all that equalizer and stuff. You know the AC is cool and it's about 95 out today. It's cool enough to make me want to keep the AC on but I think you can use a charge. That's it, just a little bit of zip in third and you're right up to almost 40. Um, I'm gonna slow down a little bit. That was second, here's third, this is third gear. I mean, right to 40, just like no thing. I'm trying to do something different in my test drives for you and something different in my videos to make them nicer or different down to about 25 and oh man 40 has reached so fast in this car i think it was zero to 50 or something in six seconds or so it's got five speeds and i'll tell you what in five speeds the fifth one is nice and tall if that makes any sense it's very tall geared on that one Wow, it does that right before the red line. That's pretty cool. That is cool. I didn't know it beeped. That's the hardest I've got on it. And it does that, you can see it there. I bet you it does it right at about 6,700 RPMs. It almost makes me want to make it do that again with you watching. I'm gonna pull over. This guy's gonna go. 
And we're gonna... Yeah, right about 6,800 or so. This is nice. School's out, by the way. It's not 25 right now, it's 40. I got my blinker on and stuff because I'm just enjoying the shift. Man, it is a throttly little car. And the size and the way it corners make it extremely fun. Right up to fourth gear, no doubt. Um, like at 35, 40, 45. Fourth gear is sweet in this car. And I'll tell you honestly, the, the AC is pretty cool. It's not ice cold. Wow, second gear, I could just light them up if I wanted to right there. This car is fast. There's no two ways about it, it's a fast car. And uh, rated at like 29 miles per gallon on the highway. Amazing! You'd never guess it with the kind of performance this car gives. Curb my mag wheels while I'm test driving. Wouldn't that be something else? That would not be cool. Pocket.com. Whoa, that's a loud horn, buddy. Really, it was. You should have been here. Oh man, that person was coming up fast. They do that on that road too. It's like 40 to zero, like bam, the last 10 feet. See, like this is fourth gear. Plenty of pickup, no need to downshift. Uh, it's a really, really nice driver, and that air really feels nice. Um, I want to make a word about the vents. Um, you can see how the little pieces there, I'm going to show you when I'm not driving, but the little pieces are kind of, um, they don't position the vent the way you want. This thing is ripping blues right now. I'm not going to do it. Jeez, man. I have a feeling that the thing would be going eh, eh, all the time when I drove it. Okay, we're gonna go up here, show you the inside. It's got a really low geared, for having such a tall geared fifth, it's got a really low geared first. I think it's really wide here. Breeder! Breeder the pocket beagle! No, 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 don't come in front of the car, girl. She's been out here waiting for me. She knows that it's picture time. Okay, that'll get me all indoors. And we're gonna show you the interior. God, the car drives nice. Buzzer. Okay, cruise control. Beautiful, no smells, non-smoked in. Manual. Quartz. Quartz clock, baby. This is what I was talking about here. Oh, I was doing the wrong one. This is up and down, and this is this. Eh. Well, I guess if you learn how to work the vents, then they work. Maybe this one don't. Does it? One. This one ain't turning. Oh. See there? You learn how to do things. Ah, there's the lights. Ba -dunk. Tape deck I haven't tried out. Um, awesome, it's still got Dolby, baby, Dolby. I don't think they do ProLogic in cars, do they? Wow, that, that looks suspiciously like a, in fact, Big Crow Fly or Big L Nick. You guys ought to know, I mean, that looks like a typical Ford. And as many parts as Mazda and Ford started swapping back and forth in the 80s and 90s. Out, in, up, down. Out, 
Wait, let's go down first. Down. Out. Out. In. Down. Right where I like it. I love it. Okay. On. Wow. On. On with the door or on. Door. Okay, I like that. Um, sunroof caution. Oh yeah, it's got the little factory thing here. Come on now. It's got a little dust on it. Um, okay. Oh, this top and that top. And it goes like this. And we just put this top on. Actually, he had the silver matching top. And you can clip that off right there. Boom, boom. And it lifts right off. And it's open. Seals nice and tight. Leather is nice and good. It's a little bit dry right there. Just a teeny bit. I hope you can see that. But it's beautiful. Non-cracked. All the piping's good. Um, and all that good stuff. Um, auto check. 1.3 R2 4 valve. Um, 13 to 37 is for to 40. Owner says not applicable and it has never swapped titles. So I'm thinking one owner on this one. It's one or two owner. Um, as far as the books goes, I got this original warranty information for it. And so there's some stamps in it and stuff. No manuals as such. Um, I don't see the glove box light coming on in there. I'm going to leave this in there. A little cup holder. Well, holder. Cup leaner on her while you're not moving. We'll call it that. Ah, all the overheat exhaust system. That's an interesting warning light. And all that's good. Washer, stop lamp, oil, add coolant, brake, gas. Gaslight. Get a couple pictures of that odometer. 104164. Okay. Now let's show you the car. Look at that. It's beautiful. Just absolutely. A couple little marks in the wheel here and there. Nothing too big time. A little dust on there, but the carpet's in beautiful shape on the door panel. This door panels look great. Vinyl. That might be leather. This is probably vinyl. Little cracks along the edges of that, as you can see. Um, that's a little bit frayed right there over time. Oh, that's so tight, it's pitiful. Not all cracked up or nothing up there. It is all it's cracked up to be. Just not all cracked up. Now then, the buzzer will drive you crazy. Okay. Whoa. Oh, that must be a fader. That's cool. Oh. Console. I'll bet you it is a fader. These seats are in great condition. Big storage, man. That's pretty cool. As you can see, that top there. And let me grab these. How do you... Okay. Look at that, no wear on the pedals, man. It's in great shape. These are in great shape. Little war through marks right there. And right there from heel marks. And it sure saved this. Look at this. It looks new. Well, see, I hate saying new, that word. Uh, it's stinking 20 years old. So it can't look new, but it can look close. And this does. Look at that, it's beautiful. Kind of a... Uh, vent or something. Yeah, a vent down here. Cool stuff. Okay. Full circle. Yeah, these struts need replacement. And I get struts like that, these things, for eight to 20 bucks on eBay. Um, there's your top, and let's see here. Well, he's got it good and buckled in here, don't he? That's how it goes. 
I might want to take this out. Come on now. Wow, you gotta unbolt it. Sure do. So it's tied in here. Carpet's a little faded, as you can tell. But it's in great shape. Um, got the original tire and spare in there. I might add a part in. Um, because this, you know what? Maybe I can just loosen it. I bet you I can. Let's see here. Sorry to do this. I should have this more planned out, maybe, huh? Yeah, I can't do this right now. It's too, it's too much. I wish I could get this off, but as you can see, Oh wait, there we go. Ha ha. Okay, one more. Let me get this one now. Come on. I know this is not smarter than me, okay? Come on, it's not smarter than one owner car guy. One owner smart smart guy is smarter than the car. Yes he is! This time. Okay, let's see. Almost, huh? I'll pull this up, pull this one around. Pull this one over. We almost got it. Now there might have been an easier way to do this. One owner car guy doesn't know it. And I'm going to have to do this different anyways. But it was very important to me to get this done for you. So I'm going to set this here leaning against the antenna and hope it doesn't fall. Pull my top out. <laughs> Pull my top out. And that's that. Okay. That is your carpet. It's very important to me to show you this kind of stuff where you see the condition of the car. Still got the tires, kid. There's the original tool kit. I don't even think he's, I think that was the first open. <laughs> I really do. Wow, that's cool. Okay, let's see this here. Got a tear in that. Don't know how that happened in one there. Um, probably somebody like me opening it with those things on it. And there's your spare, still bolted in. Tires on the, titties on the face of the tire, man. That ain't never been off of there. That is just awesome. Just awesome. How do you, you can't beat this. This is original. This is an original car. It's in great condition. And there's your back. Um, just beautiful. I'm gonna leave these in it. I'll have to put that together later. OneOwnerCarGuy.com. Look at that. A little bit of rubbed off paint on that. And I'm going to grab this right here. It's a little wet. That's what she said. But as you can see, I think that's, yeah, that's all carpet um, dust. And because it was laying face down, and this is in great shape. You can see there? Take a picture. Yes, sir. Both tops. Kind of hard to beat, ain't it? Okay, look at the little vents. That is a cool looking little option. That is awesome with the sunroof. These are kind of a different, they might have started out black in life or more gold or something, I don't know. Hi, Breeder. What are you doing? Beaglespocket.com. This is beautiful, man. The carpet's in great shape. Oops. Headrest. This is a very sporty car. This is honestly a great competitor for a 944. And I'm a big 944 fan, for sure. But this is a great... Great little car for that. You know what, that's faded a little bit. Kind of a green color it almost looks like. Unless it came that color, I don't know. Okay, I'm gonna hop in here. Because by the time I get doing this a different direction, there's another vent down there. Huh, that must shut off a vent or something. I'm gonna do this before it gets too much farther along. I didn't show you that. Also, the car 
would like to have its oil changed in about a thousand miles or so. Just so you know. I want you to be in the know. I'm going to leave that in because that won't bug you. Wow, it don't go on after you don't have it on. And the driver's door is not open. Well, that's cool. A um, little bit of... Right here like they get. Jeez, um, it's a beautiful shape. Little bit discolored. Like it's more maroon here. And more of a different color. You can see that barely. This didn't change color. This part did a bit. And it's more red there. You can see just from time. God, the door is open and closed beautifully. Now look at this, would you? Talk about pretty. Pretty. It's a beautiful car. You can pause that if you need to. Like I said, we put a new belt or two and then that um, power steering pump. Look at that, still got the coolant flap thing. Plasti flap. Plasti flap! That ain't what it's called. Don't be calling things it's not called. That's uncalled for. <laughs> Ah, 13B. Hard to get to the oil filter on these, I tell you. God, look how clean this car is. And this ain't because we like, you can't scrub it and clean it like this. This thing's clean, man. It's always been clean. Um, in fact, if we'd have scrubbed it and cleaned it, we'd have probably got a bit of that off. In fact, that could be. Yeah, it comes right off with some nail dirt. Look at that. That's why I got stuff under my nails and all over my hands. I'm just dirty mechanic-y person-y. Look at that, man. That is beautiful. I love this car. I, I really like this car. R-E-E-G-I. R-E-E-G-I. Yeah, I don't know what it means. I know it's a cool car. Breeder, is it a cool car? Yeah. She's chasing a hummingbird. She, I got her attention a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna back this up. The way things go on this, it's really easy to forget something. And I didn't check this vent on camera there, and it works, but what I didn't show you, when it's not cracked through or anything, the piping is slightly, listen to the squeak, piping is slightly broke right there, but just lightly fold over and one wear through thing right there, tiny on the lumbar support. Lots of years and all that left. Not all war, and I just put my knees in this little much, and it, it holds up, man. It's in great shape. Great shape. Oh, back to wherever we were when I pulled it out for this. She said that, too. The beepers and buzzers this thing has is too cool. The one's reminding me my light's on, and the other one's saying the door's open or that the key's in the ignition. So they pretty much have got it covered, and there's your... Upsy downsy again. That's a cool little. I don't know. Don't know what it is in that year. In fact, somebody tell me for some free cereal marshmallows. Ah, there you go. Cool thing. Thanks for watching. And I'm gonna clip this in wherever it was gonna be. And we'll talk to you. Beautiful car. That's all there is to it. What's that? Oh, wow. Oh, bright lights. Gotcha. You okay, Breeder? Get this thing just barely out in the sun for you. Can't think of anything else to tell you about it. Besides, it's beautiful. It's a lot of car. It is a lot of car. And anything about this? This stuff ain't going down in value and such. This is a neat investment car that you can drive around and enjoy. Get 30 miles a gallon. 29. They rated it 29. Hi, girl. She's like, I want to go sit down. You all done? 
you all done outside? Beaglespocket.com, but more importantly, oneownercarguy.com. And this is an absolutely beautiful RX-7. Any questions or anything, you can call me anytime, Nathan, 406-544-6919, and oneownercarguy.com. And that's that. Thanks for watching. Have a great day or night, whatever it is, wherever you are.